Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Roverman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we've got a pretty important battle, actually. Um, I'm doing a forced crossing against the Russian Empire, and there will be a force already dug in, mostly cavalry based with a lot of artillery. Uh, the objective is to storm over the the, uh, the bridge as quickly as possible, but should any of our units uh, break and run, we will actually get support from their side of the river, which will be pretty interesting. Without further ado, let's crack on. We want to try and minimise our losses as, as much as possible, but also accept that we are trying to storm across the river, so we will be losing men. The idea will be to uh, set up the artillery to bombard, storm across both crossings, to try and overwhelm as much as possible, and to establish ourselves on the far bank as much as possible before enemy reinforcements arrive and there will be a period where we lack artillery support as we then move our guns across the river although it's taking its time to load in um, but yes this is one of those scenarios where as my saw you do not want to stand toe to toe with the russians because they probably dug in their artillery so it's more difficult to kill so you end up just needing to storm over the river but if we do this, we break their power in this part of the world and we really start to open up the Balkans for rapid expansion for our forces, which will be really cool. If the game loads up, that is. But if we can destroy this concentration of units, then it's only a matter of time before we push on to Istanbul and take that. And before we know it, we're pushing over... Uh, pushing over through Romania. So we're going to group all my guns together. This unit's bugged. They're going to fire at whatever they choose to fire at. Let's take... Because they've got mostly cavalry, I'm going to group my melee infantry here to cross the ford and give them a strong contingent of infantry to follow. We will send another batch of infantry over this bridge. Let's get this extra Kizobashi unit to get over board. All of our cavalry can be here as well. <laughs> yeah, right across the, the bank. Let my, I'm going to let my guns shoot at whatever targets they feel are the most appropriate. All of my infantry and everyone storm across as quickly as possible. There's a limit to damage that we can do, but at least we will be focusing on their guns. Yeah, this isn't yeah, this is very much what I kind of expected to happen. All my melee units tear apart this unit of Bjorni Streltsy because we want to get our infantry out and formed up. It looks like we're having a really bad time attacking their guns. Actually, their guns aren't even firing. So let's redeploy our... or retarget our guns. What we don't want is for our infantry forces to get bogged down. I'm hoping the ones that don't engage the Bjorni Streltsy will continue their push. So the Israeli can push that way. This unit of Kizobashi get out. Because you men can drop into square. Hindu musketeers, Hindu warriors engage. Okay, you guys have Okay, this is not gone to plan at all. Pity this Kizobashi unit, they're going to get mown down. Okay, you may need to form up. These two units fill in this gap to begin engaging that enemy formation. 
these Kizobashi units form up, ready to face off against the reinforcements coming in. Get my cavalry over there. Hindu warriors form up defensively. Really unfortunate that these guys didn't cross over the bridge as they should have done. New men are going to advance towards the enemy guns and begin engaging them with rapid fire. Hindu warriors commit against the enemy infantry musketeers. No need now. Expand the bridgehead. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards go after their artillery. Okay, we've got an extra, we've got an additional unit of Israeli. So we can use them to push out and expand our musket line. Get our Indian Infantry Guards up. Cavalry guards go for the 12 pound of foot artillery. Native lancers go for the 3 pound of horse artillery. Get my Hindu warriors to fall back because they're pursuing the enemy, which we don't want. Okay, we are established across the river. You men just open fire against the gunners. Cavalry units have to charge in because they've got an enemy militia unit who will interrupt our charge. We might be able to massacre them. Sadly, it is raining, so it's slowing down our. It's reducing our ability to have an interesting game. Okay, these men push up. My artillery range is pretty good actually. They can keep bombarding the enemy cavalry. Form square. Unit of dragoons coming in. Push the dervishes up. Are they about to dismount? Are they going to go for this unit of Israeli? Form square. Push the dervishes in. New men mow down the dragoons, and then you'll carry on your work against the enemy gunners. Kill the enemy general. So the dervish is going to knock out these dragoons. Okay, right, pull back my cavalry, because it's badly depleted uh, they're actually retreating okay Israeli Israeli excellent reform the line Form the line and advance onto the enemy strongholds. Bringing in elephant support. Make sure my melee infantry are also pushed up and spread out. Although, to be honest, we don't want two generals, I might just push them back. Get the dervishes to move over. Get some of my gunners to engage. Nope, there's no swordsmen, pull back. Get 
Did I wish he's hit the infantry? Push forward, push up my infantry guards. Excellent, you men. Oh, make sure I don't accidentally pick all of you. So here comes some howitzer fire. You men are going to push up to threaten their rear areas. Push up the swordsmen. The Bjorni Streltz are charging in. Form square to meet the charge. Push my swordsmen in to hack them down. Sadly, until these Bjorni Streltsy are dealt with. There we go. So you can push out. These guys are. Just engage the Vibioni Streltsy. You men actually may not push up as far as that. We've got some guns which we don't really want. I'll take the heavy cavalry though. We've been engaged with shrapnel shot at point blank range, that is not acceptable. Push forward. Get you guys out of square. Form line. Form square. You may hack open the militia. Push forward, push everyone forward here. I'm getting involved in fisticuffs, which isn't really what I want, but got a lot I can do about it. You men go for that horse artillery crew. Push my Sipahi forward to hit that unit of Bibiani Streltsy. well. Push these men forward to attack the enemy howitzers. Retreat my general because he's looking a bit exposed. Okay, you men form up. Because let's fall back. All artillery just slam shells in around here. Dervish to push forward. No, fall back. It's tempting to make them charge, but don't. Get them to flank these gunners here. Zipahi, get over here. Help attack the dragoons. You men push forward. More Hindu musketeers. You men retreat and then you will. <laughs> Just get out of there. Yeah, random artillery shells coming in. out of here. Push these musketeers up. So then you men plus them plus you guys push up for now into this formation here. Continue to bombard the enemy. Excellent. We are Knocked out two of the enemy artillery units. Now we're on to the issue of Vibignoni Strelzi. We've got a rocket troop behind the lines. 
Everyone else just keep loading and firing. So our guards are pushing in. But even they are falling to our Indian musket fire. Who's that line infantry guards? See look, area attack artillery is doing well even without needing to properly figure it out. Okay, you managed to hold on for now. Okay, this is actually putting into a bigger meat grinder than I anticipated. Native American infantry, yes please. You're going to go over there, format the line, you then kill the howitzers. Push forward, don't let, don't give them the breathing space they want. You men are thinking about retreating because you're under fire from some entity. Okay, push up the Islamic swordsmen. Oh no, those men routed very well. Pivot the line back. You'll come back, you've not lost many men. Bayonet charge. The infantry, you're firing into them now, but I think getting extra combat power in will be the more beneficial thing. There we go, they did come back, so you men rally and form the defensive position. You men can continue to engage. Let's cease the artillery fire. Commit my elephants in to attack the guards, the Islamic swordsmen might not be enough. Gunning down these irregulars. They're not making their way in. It's to be expected. They too will shatter. I mean, you guys broke, which is unsurprising. Surrounding the enemy that remained. Excellent. Let's get my Islamic swordsman out of there. General, go after the 24-pounder foot artillery. You men push up to engage the 75th. Artillery all engage the foot guards. You may see a number of any of enemy friendly units breaking, don't need the artillery. Ah, oh, there we go. It's beginning over here. Very well. We will fall, reform our musket line when the 75th breaks. New men, reform. Form a defensive line. These men will fight on to the bitter end. Okay, 
line up to engage them beyond. Actually, no, don't line up. Bring my general back to safety. There are many, many Indian troops running around. That's not cricket at all. New men about face. Bring the native troops back. Come on, make the foot guards route. They must route imminently. Let's begin to flank. So the enemy have successfully prevented our attempt to flank them. Well, our attempt to destroy them in a melee fueled swamp. They're bringing in other units, or well, are bringing in units often to their flank, from their flank, to uh, help out. Let's bring the native warrior infantry to bear here. You men can get redeployed back against the enemy threat ahead of us. They're falling back, so we'll pursue them with my native troops, plus back them up with two units of infantry here. You guys continue to push. The Sikh warriors are back on the wrong side of the river. Volley present. 20 second foot guard is going down. 118, they've routed, there go the 22nd. And that may be, apart from this cavalry unit and this infantry unit, it. Actually, it makes sense to get my artillery to attack the this regiment here rather than the cavalry. Simonevsky Garn Musketeers are returning. But I've got to, I'm fairly confident they will break. So here come the, some reinforcements from a not super useful direction. Can you guys buy a shrapnel? These guys I can. Okay, then I'll be a problem. Oh well, there we go. So once these guys start firing shrapnel shot, move a bit off to the flanks rather than directly behind them, because then you'll get hit by you'll get hit by secondary effects. You men can use your muskets if you like. Well, there they go. Collateral damage has already been. You can see my guys getting hit by the shrapnel shot. But still, it described as a Pyrrhic victory. I don't think it is. I think that's quite, uh, quite pivotal, really. It's going to blow open this sector. We're going to capture Belgrade, and we're going to be able to squeeze eastward. And we haven't actually taken a huge amount of losses. I mean, look, this is how we've done war. We lost more men than them, but we deployed a hell of a lot more. Hindu musketeers, chumps, and significant levels of experience. A lot of raw recruits have now become veterans. Excellent. You can march in and demand the surrender of Belgrade. Excellent. So let's get that. Let's get these built. Destroy the seminary. You can see how well... Yeah, you're, you are effectively dead. Mr. Tokarev, your force can be annihilated. You men replenish and push back up. You men push forward. Same with you. Excellent. Let's get this repaired. Get you repaired. Good, good, good. We're not going to do anything against this unit. 
Not yet. They may run around and raid, and that's completely fine. Let's make sure actually everyone it, like needs replenishing. Is replenishing. Good. You men sprint to Warsaw. So they have reinforcements, so... Cursier, Marines, Muscovy, Cav. Is that this army to the south? It is. So let's bring you guys up to support the capture of Warsaw. Let's bring... Okay, we need to position them well here. I think you, these four units can push up to the, the Gdansk. Can we demand a surrender even though they've got forces nearby? Yes. Nice. So, I mean, can we squeak onto the bridge? Oh, they let us. They let us squeak onto the bridge. You men march up to give support. We can reinforce Gdansk. Let's get rid of one of these happiness buildings and replace them with a madrasa. So what this means is if one of the, if these guys, well, maybe no, they might not get them because he has no movement points. But feasibly, we could be in a position to catch these guys in a bridge battle, which will be very nice. I think one thing I want to do is attack this force here in Krakow. And force them east. Hopefully, this side of the river. But yeah, a few troops, a few artillery pieces, a bit of weakened cavalry. Nothing to worry about. But the more... The more we can smash through their line now, the more devastating our... The more, well, the trickier it will be for them to respond to our attacks. So what I would like... Next turn is to jump on to Norway and take Norway quickly. Jump on Sweden, take Sweden quickly. And then rapidly push towards Finland and also push up through the Caucasus. Because that is a... Another avenue of attack so guns up on the hill we are going to fight in the style of a conventional european line i may group my mercenaries together separately so i can stretch my bigger units out far enough without over stretching my mercenaries Deploy my line infantry, my melee infantry behind the line, because we have a large contingent of enemy melee infantry to deal with. Well, not enemy melee infantry, we have lots of enemy cavalry to deal with. And having melee infantry behind the line is nicer to help manage that. Pull these cavalry on the right flank backwards a little bit and give them some infantry and support. Form square. You men cease moving. Oh, they're going for the Gurkhas. Push up quickly. right flank's vulnerable. They redirected their efforts, but that means they've partially charged a square, which is never good. Light Dragoon's coming in. The Gurkhas will tear the Household Cavalry a new one. They killed a bunch of their own guys with musket fire. There goes the vaunted enemy household cavalry. The enemy dragoons have dismounted, which means we will now push with our own cavalry and infantry.
We will push at speed. We will not fear. Well, actually, my cavalry is going to storm in. Dousing us with quick climb. Push up even further and even faster. The dragoons have broken. Get my cavalry and muskets up and ready to attack the enemy behind the defensive position up there. You men are in position just to start mowing down or dumping musket fire onto the enemy. Actually, I might deploy both of you guys here. Nobody except my general stuck at the back. My Sipahi go for the line infantry. begin to target our guns a bit more specifically. Push up our line. You men engage the enemy infantry with overwhelming firepower and artillery support. Yeah, the enemy are routing. Hey, they I thought they were. I didn't realize they were gonna come back. You men smacked the infantry in the rear. Bash. Quick slaughter them as quickly as you can and break them. Good, get out of the way. Both of you gang up on the cuirassier. Okay, Gurkhas charge the militia. Everybody just push forward. Swarm. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Oh, what did you... Okay, right. Islamic swordsmen charge the dragoons. It looks like they're going after my... my general's bodyguard. Oh, I left my unit of bowmen back here all alone. Bring my elephants to bear there. Hindu warriors swarm the line infantry guard. No, nope, they have broken as well. No one can withstand the Mysorean assault. Kill the enemy general. The elephant's going to cause a lot of damage to my own guys. But that was pretty awesome. Heroic victory, that's a nice way to put it. That's 2,000 men. Okay, they've retreated towards Warsaw, which isn't a massive problem. So you men push ahead. So we're going to want to take Warsaw. Well, I might... My massive cavalry, I forgot about them. We may want to just... Although, to be honest, they're really quite vulnerable. I mean, I would auto that, but... Well, I mean, no, let's kill them. I was going to auto it, but it would impact too many armies. I don't want to demand the surrender because there's lots of units in there. I would rather, I would like to see dead, um, but they have very limited mass. So what we're going to be doing is 
swarming them from every direction. Make a couple of breaches, but attack from everywhere at once. Because eventually, because well, somewhere, our units will get through their defence, and then we can start attacking their artillery and stuff behind the walls. They can't hold everywhere. So I may make a breach. Well, I will make a breach, because I've got so much damn artillery. Let's create a detachment here to try and assault some walls and capture some gates. Create another detachment to do just that. You men cover... Well, you, you men will attack one breach. Light infantry will try to scale the walls. My massive amounts of enemy cavalry... You're going to treat all of my cavalry and my general are going to try and go through a different breach when it's made. Spread them out. They're going to shoot at you with artillery. There we go. Three or four volleys. Then we'll have our way in. We will have a way in, and then we'll attack from everywhere at once. Yeah, you can get your support. Six cuirassier, twenty-two household cav, thirty hussars. Looks like they may be coming out to meet us. all engage this breach we're going to start attracting enemy artillery fire soon but that will be fine killed a few men off killed a few men on the walls here from this collateral damage we're not trying to kill you good sirs we're trying to kill the thing you're standing on I might do it more like that. It's a bit vulnerable because it, it creates, it puts my light infantry in the centre, which leaves me a bit exposed. If they do seek to push our formation. But yeah, you men scale the walls. You guys are just going to hold by the gate. You men scale the wall. These two units hold by the gate. Here comes the enemy quick line. I hear enemy charges. Yeah, they can't. Oh, there they go. They're going to push out of the front gate because they want to stop us from from scaling the walls. Go on, men! Open fire! Zamandari horsemen, get those howitzers. They are panicking. Everyone else, charge. Make sure my camel mercenaries are fire at will. Oh. 300 odd native lancers charge in my 300 sipaki but I have no idea how these things happen they just it's just kind of it's just a bug I guess it's reading how we've figured it is that they're reading there must be some sort of corruption between reading unit sizes it's 
scale the wall. Yeah, play for the routing. Native Lance has charged the Vibione Strelti. Skirmish cavalry go this way. The camel mercenaries go that way. My Spatty are going in the other way. You men kill the general. This unit push through the breach. This gate is taken. Good push in. There you go, this path you've realised actually you can't get in through here because it's not ours yet. Excellent. Now they've worked it out. So many lances to kill two horse artillerymen. As you guys sit on the thing, get my Sapahi in to charge the foot artillery. You may as well keep the counter ticking because if these things take a little longer, which sometimes they do, at least you've got the timer. Kill the enemy general. Yes, yeah, so really cut down the light infantry, African infantry guards, go after the regiment of foot. Oh, the pikemen have decided to come back, have they? So, for example, the pikemen, if you weren't counting down, they may choose to route or take longer to route than you would like, but at least with the counter going down, you know it'll never take longer than a minute. But yeah, that is Poland secured, which uh, is a bit mad, but it's that's pretty good for us because that's really that taking that in Gdansk has really formed quite a solid front line for us against Russia. And now we're going to do some auto resolving. Lost a bunch more men in that action than I did actually taking the city. But either way, get repairing. Get you guys to replenish yourselves. Same with you guys. Got a, sit a university here that we're going to destroy. Two happiness buildings. We probably don't need that many, but I'm going to keep them there because we're not really short on money. And I just want to start a conversion towards Islam. Apart from that, that's gone really well. You're moving up. These territories have to kind of hold on until their public order chills out a little bit. I mean, call them, they still haven't. Actually, no, sorry, Climbing Ray really just taking them. Once we get rid of the university, yeah, that'll, that'll chill them down a lot. Still becoming, soon Amsterdam will become a predominantly Islamic country, just like Paris is. Or pa just like how France is. Or Paris has become. Good, good, good. So, towards. Georgia. Yeah, everyone's just pushing through. We can't go through here because we're not at war with um, Dagestan, which I'm, I'm kind of okay with. I've still got to get Georgia under our control. Yeah, your army. 
This army's building to hop over to Crimea. We've landed in Norway, but we can't push. You are will need to replenish. Okay, I think we just hit end turn. Marburg is being destroyed. Whatever that is is being destroyed. Krakow is also being destroyed. So next turn we're going to get percussion cap, which I believe is. Once we get percussion cap, then we're going to destroy Patna and have Shringer, Pat Shringer Patna research um, canned sheet dead cartridges. So let's hit end turn. And this might take some time. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced we need to recruit more armies, so uh, <laughs> our financial situation should ease up somewhat no they're pushing us out of their ports they are welcome to do that they still got a full army in moscow once they start pushing through in Cherkask, then they're gonna things are gonna really start to cascade for the russians once we push eastward and take out some of their rear territories the bastions they thought were safe. Ah, I may want to block the crossing between Finland and St. Petersburg just to add a little bit of extra time if they want to redeploy forces. Although, that might be what I want. It might make my conquest of Scandinavia easier if they move troops out of Finland towards St. Petersburg. Perhaps. Will they go for Poland? They're massing, that's not good. You're falling back. The garrison of the Konigsberg's moved out. That's really good. If we can take... Uh, I'm not. I'm going to not intercept. I don't want to take, take a bunch of casualties to these two armies. They're more than welcome to raid. Well, they didn't raid, it's their own port. So it looks like they've consolidated in Bulgaria, so we can jump on them there. They haven't weakened Istanbul. That's something to keep an eye on. Bavaria is continuing being Bavaria. Dagestan are fighting the Russians off. We don't really care about Greece just yet. Come on, let me back at it. Let me back at it. Got plenty of things to do, plenty of people to move, plenty of places to attack. So, that's percussion cap done. I'm not cracking out of in Poland. Yes. So. Well, let's be for two, to be fair. Let's just make it easier. Just get rid of... Just get rid of the modern university. It's more efficient to wait a turn, redistribute the technology, and do it that way. But to be honest, I am not that bothered at this stage in the game of going for max efficiency. I mean, a lot of what we're going to be doing is just building madrasas. Madrasas and industrial buildings where we don't need anything really excellent works on strike in new spain very well you can have you behind yourself some extra troop troops extra demands from the rhineland they now they probably will re um rebel unless they exempt them from tax maybe no that's probably not going to help Works on strike in the Rhineland. Metro demands from Georgia. They will probably rebel as well. I don't care. Now you men go for the crossing. You men... Oh no. No, no. You have to go through here single file. So until we get the other side of the mountains... You guys are going to have to go like this. So you're replenishing what you need to, as are you. You're 
40 replenished. Actually, let's recruit a bit of a militia general. Because we're going to need a garrison at Tbilisi so we can push the army out. You don't really need to be here either. We've got this army at Yerevan to help fight any rebels. Yes, they're still holding strong in Istanbul. You can come up and threaten Sofia. You're going to hold here. You're going to jump up and attack these rebels. Well, rebels, just a few gunners. And push it up. And then in Athens, we're going to keep recruiting. So, elsewhere. Madrasa. You're building your madrasa. You guys are replenished. Okay, you guys demand the surrender of Konigsberg. Push my spies up to Riga. And let's form a bit of a Already? ring of steel around Konigsberg. Get these territories, get these buildings rebuilt. Get another army to push up. Let's repair the farm. Can you guys leave? You can! So you men are going to follow this army south. You're going to push up to Warsaw to give them extra support. I mean, I'd wager you can't leave yet. Minus eight. No, you cannot. You can recruit yourself some armies that are quite clearly going to be garrison armies. So first of all, just push up to Stockholm, see if there's any hidden armies, which there isn't. Oh, there's one. So you are going to demand the surrender of Christiana. You're not going to get it. But apart from that, you're going to take the northern road to Stockholm. You're going to ignore the troops that are currently billeted in the port. Good. You men make the crossing as well, and take them out. 700 men those grenadiers killed. Reinforce and push north. Soon we'll be able to take... We'll take these regions, then we will push the long way around and keep engaging Russia as they fall back. Um, just a second, I just need to have a quick break. And I'm back. And right, I am determined I may as well fight this action in Norway because the enemy forces are small but the, uh, the it will be advantageous for us to capture another Russian city and deny them the income of Norway. It'll also give us visibility on if there are any more, any more Russian troops in the territory that we need to worry about or can we just immediately begin pushing east that is yet to be established. Let's form up. Spread my line out. They can't really do anything to us. Spread my line out. And run you guys up, fire at will. Oh.
The enemy just doesn't have a lot of firepower. The firepower might be better than ours, qualitatively. Where is that unit of guards? Line, line, line. Guards. They look pretty good. Okay, we can push you up a little bit. So you can get into a position to fire. But most of the way along the line, am I gonna. The muskets are gonna. be cleared. Fire it will on for my Kizilbashi, so they can put a volley into the regiment of horse while they stand there. Good. I mean the guards, they can only put up with so much punishment. Quit killing my own men with artillery fire. Damn right I am. Kill the enemy dragoons. I mean, there's only one. There's only the 52nd Regiment. They're the only unit that's really holding. The man who holds the colours is deploying into the fight. Let's also bring this current Kizabashi unit back, with Zimandari horseman unit back into the regiment of foot. So imagine being this regiment of foot, being like, oh, we can fight these guys, that's fine. And you turn around. Whash. And they just cut you down. because it looks like they do want to keep making a fight of it. Oh, these guys are militiamen, so... What they like to do and what they are actually going to do are two different things. Countercharged. Bless their little hearts. The 52nd, they're going to be a bit enveloped. No, nope, they've had enough. Nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, you men charge the militia just to make sure they do go. <laughs> Excellent. That's the Norwegian capital. It's good. This, this offensive of ours against the Russians is, going, is doing really, really well. Excellent. Territory looks clear of Russian forces, which is really good. Got a university, which, judging by the fact that upper classes will like me, already like me, yeah, when I get rid of the university, you'll be fine. Let's get rid of the steam dry dock. Happiness building. Upgraded mine. Good, good, good. So everything's been done. I don't want to fight anyone. Really? Here, I suppose I do. Do I? Or do I just want to push up? Like if I demand the surrender of Klausenberg. Move my men up. 
Wait, do I? I think I end. I'm, I'm not going to fight this. I'm going to end turn. See what happens. See what the Russian response is. Much, much recruitment. Right. I mean, Britain must be concerned about what's going on, right? They must be going, you know what, this is this is really bad for us. The whole of Western Europe and they're just they're smashing the Russians. So that's one army retreated back from Istanbul, which is nice. Deploying additional troops down towards Sweden. Will they go for Poland? More troops to raid Dagestan. Oh, this is going to be... These guys are okay. This could be a bit dicey, but actually, well, hopefully, we've, if we've still got the breaches, it'll be okay. If not, I will have to make one. But let's take my... Let's make sure artillery is the last thing that comes in. Probably want... I want all sorts, really. I'm going to make sure that artillery is at the bottom. Probably elephants as well. Cavalry is okay, because I can send them around to charge around and attack artillery and so on. Um, but in this case, they will make a breach, but it's where they all attack from. That's the problem. This one's okay, because this army is quite badly knackered as it is. But this is going to be really fun. But that's for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for potentially a very critical battle um, against the Russians in Warsaw. Thanks for watching, everyone.